Hi everybody and welcome to another home game video. I'm Carla, I'm an Active Schools Coordinator with High Lake Highland and today we're going to continue to explore some sports of the Olympics. Uh, last week we played our javelin launch game, uh, we had two games for you there and I promised to give you two more games where you could use your paper aeroplanes and if you haven't done so already, check out the javelin launch video because I show you exactly how to make a paper aeroplane. Today we're going to explore some archery. And in fact, it's not just one game, I promised you two games. So here we go. Our first game of archery, we are calling High Score Archery. So for your High Score Archery game, you're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need your paper aeroplane to start with, of course. Uh, but not only that, you're going to need to make your target zone or your landing strip. I'm gonna do that with tape because I've got this really nice gold tape that I really love. Uh, but you can even just stick down the paper values on the floor that you have chosen for your target zone or landing strip. You're gonna need five zones and here you can see that they have the different values. We have a score of 100, which is going to be in our center zone. It's gonna be like our bullseye. We also have two values worth 50 points and they're gonna line the two zones either side of the center to the top and to the bottom. And then we have the final two outer targets, which are gonna be worth 25 points. Okay, don't also forget your start line. Uh, you're gonna have your start line around eight to 10 steps away, but that's very dependent on your house. If you can go even further than that, then you go for it. Ta-da, and there you have it. Your center zone of 100, outer to 50, and then your final layers of 25. You can play this game individually, just on your own, or in fact, you can play it with a group of other people that are in your household, just take it in turns for your shots. Starting at your start line and with your homemade arrow or your aeroplane, you're gonna take five shots at your target or landing zone. You're aiming to build as high a score as possible, hence the name of high score archery. Really, we want to try and hit the bullseye. We want to hit the center, which is our 100 marker, just like you would do in a normal archery game. You've got five shots, let's see what our highest score is. So there you go, that's game one for your archery game of the Olympics. I, I actually played it twice. I think my first game I got 250 points, hit the bullseye on my first shot, and then on my second, I managed to get uh, 275 points. There was a couple of shots um, where I didn't get any score at all. But if you throw your arrow and it doesn't land in any of the zones, then it still counts as a throw, but it counts as a no score. And it's where the top end of your arrow hits the marker that's where you're going to take your points from. Now, without any further ado, let's move on to game two, which is called Hoop Arrow. To play this game, you're going to need a hoop. Now, if you don't have a hula hoop, don't worry. You can actually just do what I did and use a paper plate. So to make your hoop from your paper plate, have a look at this. You're going to need your plate and you're also going to need a pair of scissors. And with some adult help though, please boys and girls, I'd like you to poke a wee hole in the center of your paper plate and then what you're going to do is you're going to very carefully cut towards the outside of your plate just before you get to the rim though you're going to leave an edge and you're going to go right the way around the outside snipping as you go until you have formed a circle. There we go so I've got my homemade hoop and I've also got my arrow. Now you want to make sure though that whatever hoop you're using is going to allow your arrow to actually fit through it because the aim of hoop archery is for you to get your arrow through the hoop which will be suspended in the air. Now this can be done just with a family member holding it up for you or you can even do it hanging from a door. Uh, you can sellotape it to the top of the door if you would like to. Don't worry if you don't have a paper plate, you can also use other items. You can just use paper to form a circle. You can also use cardboard. Failing that, get a family member to create a circle with an arm.
there we go. So that was a lot of fun, whether you suspend it from the door or if you play it with somebody else in your household, have fun playing that two Archery games. Um, anyway, have a lot of fun this week, guys. Please stay safe, stay active, and stay in touch. <laughs>